Hi everyone, welcome back to my weekly Rage Fix. Hope you enjoyed last week's videos. This week we'd like to dedicate the video to our good friend Yonatan Ben Chava, our good friend Jonathan Levine. He should have a complete recovery. In this week's parasha, we learn about the story of Avram Avinu, Abraham. Hashem came to him and told him that he should go with his entire family and leave his birthplace and his father's place and go to the land that he will show him. It's the first of many tests of which Hashem tested Avram. And one of those tests was an encounter that Avram had to have when he went down to Egypt and he was worried that the people of Egypt who were corrupt people, immoral people, they would see his wife and they would want to take him. So uh, he requested that Sarah Sar say that he was her brother in order that uh, he shouldn't be killed in order for them to take him. So Sarah was brought into Paro's house and Paro was afflicted with a tremendous affliction, a very painful plague spread all over his body and the bodies of his entire household. And because of that, she was saved. So the question is, what is the purpose of Hashem giving somebody a certain challenge? I mean, she had a challenge over here. Hashem ended up saving her. But why did she have to go through the, the ordeal to begin with? Hashem could have just made that the Egyptians shouldn't have said anything to praise her to Paro. Hashem could have made that Paro himself shouldn't be induced to be interested in taking her at all. So what's the purpose of her going through the ordeal and then having to miraculously taking her out, take, get her out of the ordeal by showing wondrous signs that he does? What's the point of all that? There's two answers. The two answers is, the first one is, is that one of them, the actual purpose is so Hashem can display his miraculous wonders that he does. It's a, We find a similar idea when the Jewish people were in Egypt and Hashem told Moses to go and take the people out of Egypt. God could have just simply taken them out. What was the purpose of having the ten plagues? But one of the purposes was that, that the people should see, the Jewish people should be able to see how Hashem works in wondrous ways. And those lessons hit home. It was a similar idea over here. Hashem wanted to be able, wanted to display to Abraham and Sarah how he has the power and might to be able to save somebody in the most wondrous ways, and that Sarah should never give up hope. The second idea is is that the purpose of the challenge is specifically that people should cry out to God for help, and we're certain that Abraham and Sarah prayed to Hashem that He should help them. But if you don't feel that pain, so you don't come on to Hashem. The purpose of, a ch of that challenge, or of any challenge, is that we should be a nation that calls out to Hashem. And that's exactly who we were, and that's how we were created when we were in Egypt. Constantly, the Jewish people, when, you, when they were in Egypt and they were suffering, the purpose of their suffering, like the verse says, El their cries went up to Hashem, or Be'izaku B'nei Yisrael min and they cried out because of the hard work, that was specifically the purpose so that they should realize that they can come unto Hashem and that that's their only salvation. So Sarah went through the similar thing. She went through an ordeal. And any ordeal that we go through, part of the purposes of, of that ordeal is that we should establish our connection with Hashem. As many people don't think of Hashem when the times are good. So sometimes Hashem sprinkles in a little tough times so you should be able to call out to Him. Again, I just want to wish everybody a wonderful Shabbos. When I'm with Jonathan, Le Jonathan Levine, our good friend, a refuah shalema, complete recovery. Hashem should help him. And uh, I'll see you all next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.